IHGN Studios. It's Braves Beat. Hello, Braves, and welcome back to your weekly episode of Braves Beat. I'm Brooke Arrington. And I'm Charlie Rogers. Charlie, you got any weekend plans? Oh, my God. Well, we've got a lot of news to cover, so let's get started. Are you interested in competing in a competitive writing competition? Well, our competitive writing team is heading to Columbus to compete in the Just Right Central Ohio Regional Tournament. Please contact Mr. Millard if you're open to competing. Our second business at breakfast is just around the corner. Yep, if you're still on the fence, we had a chance to talk to Ms. Sovius about the event. I thought the pace of the business breakfast was very good. I had the chance to grab breakfast when I started, and then I got to speak to Mr. Slattery, a representative from 50 West. I think it was really interesting to be able to talk to people who also graduated from Indian Hill, and I got to learn about classes that they took that helped them succeed farther into their career. We're talking about the experience with breakfast, one of my favorite parts was also meeting with the people um, and the careers I, I was interested in. So I'm interested in biology and technology engineering as well. So I met with people. Regarding future opportunities, at the business breakfast, I got to network with a representative from Paycor, opening my eyes to new opportunities over the summer, such as a product development internship and a digital marketing internship. Hi Braves, I'm Micah and I'm going to talk to Mrs. Silvius about a great opportunity for our students' business at breakfast. Ms. Silvius, can you tell us a little bit about it? Absolutely, thank you. Yeah, I'd love to tell the students about it. So business at breakfast is just a chance for students to meet professionals in all areas of employment. It's a chance for them to learn about careers. They get to sit down in a small group at a table with a professional partner of ours and just um, ask them questions about their career, how did they get to be doing what they're doing. Uh, and the cool thing about it is we try to match students with professionals in areas they're interested in. So they do actually just get to spend an extended amount of time learning about those careers. We have different partners at every breakfast. We're hoping to have different students at every breakfast. So any student can attend. Now freshmen, you gotta wait till May 15th. I'm sorry, that's the first one you can come to. But other than that, you don't have to be in experience ships. You don't have to be in DECA. We just want all students to kind of come and start learning about careers through business at breakfast. That sounds like a great opportunity, thank you. Yes, thank you, and can I say one more thing? Yeah, sure. Okay, students need to sign up soon, and the reason why is for us to get you matched with partners in your interests area, we really need to know ahead of time. So if you can sign up right now, that would be awesome. They're gonna put the QR code on the screen, or you can see the posters around the school, but um, if you can just go ahead and sign up, that'll allow us to match you in a career you're interested in. <laughs> Please consider attending, especially if you're a senior. This event is geared towards you. The OMEA solo and ensemble competitions are officially over, with several IH students receiving superior ratings. Congrats to Elsie Longbottom and Freddie Kong in vocal music, and Isaac Scott, Daniel Choi, Maria Nath, and Audrey Phillips in the instrumental music. The Hill has extended their merch sale to the 26th of January. If you are interested in purchasing a tote bag or a hoodie, you can use the link on Canvas or email them at thehill.ih at gmail.com. DECA left this week for their yearly competition. They had a great first day on Tuesday, and they are currently leading the awards. We will keep you updated as the story progresses. But until then, great job, DECA, and keep it up. Are you interested in how the medical field is changing with technology? Sign up for Project Tech's Tech Talk number two, featuring Vinit Arasala, the founder and COO of Genetesis, a biotech startup developing advanced medical imaging technology to change how we detect heart disease. He is also a Forbes 30 under 30. This talk will be on February 23rd in the MP room during your lunch period. RSVP and sign up now. There are posters around the school and the link will also be available on your class page on Canvas. Don't miss the opportunity to learn about tech in the medical field from a professional. Chase and Jacob have this week's sports news. Take it away, guys. Thank you, Charlie and Brooke, for that wonderful introduction. I'm Jacob Bayless. And I'm Chase Lanham. We'll begin with boys basketball, who played Deer Park and came out on top 63-31. to Elijah Riggs led the Braves in scoring with 15 points, going 6-for-6 six six from the field. The boys then defeated the Madeira Warriors 62-47 to in a big league win Tuesday night. The Braves play at home tonight against Reading. The girls basketball team took on Madeira on Saturday, but fell short with the final score of 53-42. to 
They played Reading on Wednesday but lost 57-50. to They will play Finneytown this Saturday as they look to bounce back. The boys bowling team took on Reading at Crossgate Lanes and lost 1,731 to 2,411. They then took on Wyoming at Stone Lanes and lost 2,102 to 1,970. They look to bounce back against Marymount on Thursday, but we don't have those results yet. We'll get those scores to you next week. The girls bowling team also took on Reading at Crossgate Lanes and unfortunately fell short, losing 1,794 to 1,531. They bounced back with a big rivalry win against Wyoming with a score of 1,567 to 1,533. They will also face off with Marymount on Thursday, but we don't have those results yet. We'll get those scores to you next week. Last Sunday, the boys swim team finished third with 136 points at the Indian Hill Invitational. The girls swim team finished first, scoring 172 points. The Braves pulled out a first place finish with a combined score of 308. Great job, Braves. The wrestling team ventured over to the Everett Howard Invitational where Ty Tunstall earned first place, Evan Mercurio secured third place, Tony Cassis and Demir Almuratov both secured fourth place, and Michael Ryu earned sixth place. Overall, the team placed eighth out of the 18 teams and is now gearing up for the Milford Invitational scheduled for next Saturday. The latest addition to the Black Shirt Club is sophomore Connor Kennedy. He has consistently demonstrated the values of leadership, integrity, and pride associated with the black shirt. Congratulations, Connor. Last but certainly not least, congratulations to Coach Savage on being named the OATCC State Coach of the Year for Girls Cross Country. Great job, Coach. That's all we have today. Back to the news desk. Thanks, guys. There's only a few home games left for basketball, so be sure to come out and support, and if you can't make it to the game in person, you can tune in on IHTN1 YouTube channel for the free live podcast. It's that time of the year again, and Winter Homecoming is approaching fast. The theme this year is Valentine's, so be sure to bring your sweethearts or talking stages. You can pick up tickets on the Student Government Canvas module for $25. And remember, there are only 350 available, and they will not be sold at the door. And what would Homecoming be without Spirit Week? Monday is a classic PJ day. Tuesday is channel your flannel. Wednesday is dress like a teacher. Thursday is ice versus ice. And Friday is candy cane. Freshmen and juniors wear red and sophomores and seniors wear white. There will also be a movie night on February 1st with concessions. All right, Braves, that's all the news we have for this week. Be sure to follow us on X and Instagram. Subscribe to us on YouTube and email us with any school updates. And remember, stay, stay classy, classy, Indian Hill. Hill. So, what makes you guys qualified to work here at Braves Beat? Just give me a moment. Okay, so let me tell you why. I'm just going to be the greatest credit logistical manager you've ever seen. Hold your breath. I know what you're thinking. Yeah, no, I'm lying. I got promised code red, uh, and I, I can't find my Mountain Dew. So I'm pretty mad right now. So just, you, you do your thing, because I've had enough of this code red lying experiment. Okay. Um, I'm not qualified to be here. I believe fact, it. I'm not even here. Okay. Oh, Glad to I'm hear not it. Not sitting here right now. Oh. Awesome. You can't hear me and you can't see me. All right. So, what makes you guys uh, qualified to work here at Braves Beat? Um, I flipped a marker like ten minutes ago, so that's pretty cool. But other than that, I don't have any real qualifications. I um, mean, you know, I think I offer a lot of good things. Um, just attempted to break a world record, so just things like that that I can offer to this program for sure. Awesome. All right, so what makes you guys qualify to work here at Braves Beat? Um, I actually didn't really want to take the class, but they recruited me. Like, they really wanted me to come, so I just was like, all right, fine. Um, I don't think I'm very qualified, but I did see Daniel flip a marker like 10 minutes ago, and it really inspired me. We celebrated, and it was pretty cool. Yeah. So what makes you guys qualified to work here? Uh, nothing makes me qualified, but I'll tell you why I want to take this class. Um, so recently, I became a full-fledged veg vegetarian, and I, I mean, I saw all these plants around, so I liked it a lot, and um, yeah, this is my source of food now. Glad to hear it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, are you gonna ask? Do you have a reason for being in this class? Um, I mean, I was here last semester. That's about the only reason I got. Cool. 
So what makes you guys qualify to work here at Braves Beat? Um, I took Video Tech One. Did you take Video Tech I didn't One? I did take Video Tech One, but I'm still I'm still pretty qualified. Okay, if you say so. Yeah. All right. So what makes you guys qualified to work here? Oh, well, you see, a long time ago, I died when I was here, so I've just kind of been here ever since, and no one's honestly questioned it. Okay. What about you? I've kind of always been here as well. I, I'm a ghost. Have you not heard me screaming? Or seen me go through the walls? I hear a lot of screaming. I just ignore most of it. Yeah, cool. I'm the same way. Oh, my God. All right.